And good happy Monday. This is Kurt Berglund with another Monday baseball book review for you. Um, we do this every Monday. Please subscribe to my channel to keep the reviews coming. Uh, today we have a book in a different sort of vein than I have reviewed before for you. Uh, this is called Diz, the story of Dizzy Dean and baseball during the Great Depression. The uh, writer is Robert Gregory. He is a journalist and an excellent writer. The book focuses on Dizzy Dean and a little bit of his brother Paul Daffy. Um, but and 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 about uh, Dizzy's life generally, but it focuses on his period in baseball during the Great Depression. Now the book is uh, 400 pages. It's just shy of 400 pages of text. Uh, there is an index at the back, which I always like to see. This is the size of the font, so. This is a regular sort of paperback um, version, a little bit larger, I guess, than a traditional paperback um, would be, I guess, by maybe an inch or two. Copyright date is 1992. Uh, the writing is as you would expect it's excellent if you read a review on amazon at least i read reviews on amazon of people who uh complain about the editing in books and how mistakes aren't caught uh, i don't find any mistakes in the book i read this last week and i didn't find any mistakes certainly none that jumped off the page at me, so it's very well written. It's well researched as well. Um, this took Robert Gregory quite a while to to write, um, but uh, and and he's writing it uh, from the perspective of a a fellow Oklahoman, um, and that's uh, that's his sort of target, um, uh, trying to create a sort of human version of Dizzy Dean. Um, it is not a book, I don't, in my opinion, that is critical of him or really passes judgment on him. It lays out a whole lot of evidence of what it is that he said and did. Uh, and uh, from everything from performances in uh, his biggest games, but also... Uh, it goes into detail about uh, his injury that he suffered in 1937, uh, which basically shortened his career uh, because he did not take good care of himself afterward. Um, but there was pressure on him to return after the injury as well, so I, I don't know, that's kind of mixed as well. Although uh, Robert Gregory seems to put more responsibility for the Dean's injury to his arm after the All-Star Game injury on Dean himself than on the factors around him that uh, really sort of contributed to his decision to return quickly as well, although certainly it may not have been the largest uh, factors in his decision to return. Uh, there's information about his wife. There's a lot of quotes. There's a lot of good research in this book. It is not a book with statistics. It is not a book with pictures. Uh, there's 400 pages of text and research in this book to try and create the picture of what Dizzy Dean meant to America during the Depression, but also what, of course, what Dizzy Dean meant for Major League Baseball. I want to say one other thing, too, about uh, books of this type that has happened, um, I want to say, in the last 20 years or so, maybe 30 years, and that is when a book is written about a player, you'll notice that what the author does is spend a great deal of time creating 
historical context. So what you'll see is, for instance, um, a chapter about the player and then a chapter about the times and a chapter about the player and a chapter about the times. Trying to create a larger context for the reader to understand the player's contribution. I find that really, really, really overdone. Um, I, when I read a book about a baseball player, I want to read a book about a baseball player. If I want to read a book about the history of the times, I'll go research that. But give me something about the player. And the reason, one of the reasons I like this book is that while Robert Gregory does provide context for Dizzy Dean's life and career during the Great Depression, he doesn't pretend to be teaching you about the history of the Great Depression. There's, yes, there's information about it, and yes, he makes references to it, but the target of the book is really Dean and his career and his interaction with his teammates and his performances on the field. But again, it's not a book about sabermetrics. It's not a book that delves into the data that supports Dean's career. Doesn't do that. But And so I find this to be a very readable book about a period of baseball history that I frankly haven't paid a lot of attention to yet. Um, I especially like the information of about his uh, career uh, right around 1937 and afterward, sort of how he responded to those, to that adversity of his career falling apart due to the injury. And I think that was handled well. Um, so, uh, the book is Diz, D-I-Z, and the publisher is Penguin. Uh, this one is Penguin, although I think there are other versions out there. It's Diz, the story of Dizzy Dean and baseball during the Great Depression. Robert Gregory, I think you would like it. I'm Kurt Berglund. Please join me for future book reviews. We do one every Monday, and we have lots of stuff coming up this week, including more Pine Tar Baseball uh, reviews of the great teams of the 20th century set, among which Dizzy Dean is a member. Uh, the 1938 Chicago Cubs, there's Dizzy Dean's card, and that team is in this set. Going to be doing that this week. Also, we have Triple Play Baseball on Thursday. Every Thursday, we do Triple Play Baseball. Uh, and Saturday night, we do Saturday Night Fights with Gloria Day's Boxing. So a lot of stuff going on. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you have a good day. So long, everybody.